and kicker Robbie Gold set to get us started. And off we go from Seattle. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. As Seattle's offense comes onto the field, we'll see a 10-year veteran under center. Guy who broke into the league as a starter back in 2013, Geno Smith. Smith going to look to throw right away. Throwing the out route, and he connects with Fan. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backward, back to the 33. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On first down, it's Smith. And that is incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. The Smith throw caught here by Metcalf. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. His throw incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. And they'll run. It's Ken Walker. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, Smith. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. And now it's second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Could be four-down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Here's Purdy. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. 
But anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. from the shotgun now. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. This drive didn't end well, but if they can keep stringing these together, they'll like what they're doing. That was an eight-play drive before it ended in a fumble. So the takeaway's got to be doing what we want to do and doing it well. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. Here's Walker to start the drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll give the Seahawks a first down. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. After the run, Smith going to throw. He's got his big tight end, Fan. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On second down, it's Walker. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Smith going to throw on third and one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. To throw is Smith. This is the tight end fan. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 36 yards on the play. Well, that's something that this defense is not going to be able to allow if they're going to have success here. They've got to be able to wrap up and get guys on the ground. They end up letting him get away, and it turns into a big play here early on. I can just see veteran observers of the game shaking their heads and talking about the dearth of tackling in the game today. Aziz al Shair in to make the stop. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Play action. It's Smith. He completes this to Walker. 
So give him two yards there on the completion. And it brings up third and five now. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Noah Fan, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Myers connects on the PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And, Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculate it because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. Now left side on the swing pass. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. This will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. Yeah, he is out of bounds inside the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there. No hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A first carry for the rookie from LSU, Ty Davis Price. And not much running room down to the 32. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. They run with McCaffrey off the option. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Open man is Ayu complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven yard third down conversion. Oh, how about this on first and goal? Oh, he put it on the 
carpet, a fumble. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Can we get some forensics done here? Because I need to figure out. What, on that ball? Yeah, on the ball, <laughs> on the guys carrying the ball, what's going on, back-to-back -back drives, back-to-back -back fumbles. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you're coming out here to play in the NFL. I don't think the coaching staff thinks it makes a whole lot of sense either. No, maybe there'll be changes, but if nothing else, there will be a few stern talking to's, that's for sure. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Smith. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. A fight for the football and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Back to throw, Purdy. Throw left side, complete. That's Jennings. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Now whistles here. And I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Walker now at first and ten. And some space here. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 51 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Straight ahead, Walker. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. And he gets it down to the 48 enough for the first. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now Gino on first down. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. The Nick Bosa so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. 
tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. After the sack on first down, Smith. He'll find good one here on the right side. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Five yards on the carry, a good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Off of play action. Here's Smith. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And nowhere to hide on that play. No, there was not because every exit door, that was surrounded. And I think that was supposed to be a bootleg, but he had no chance to get outside the pocket and try and make a play. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And the 49ers are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because he just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Back out now comes Kenneth Walker in the Seattle offense. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Stick it with Walker on second down. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Here's Smith. Finding Lockett for the catch here on the out route. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Just beating the play clock, Smith. That's complete to his speedy wideout, Goodwin. Only able to gain a couple there. 
And it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And got his man complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Straight ahead running. Here's Dallas. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shot. Touchdown, Seahawks. Marquise Goodwin, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks go up by two touchdowns. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 14 to nothing. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Being chased out left. This one caught by Kittle. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. To throw again on second down, Purdy. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Second and four. Purdy now to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jennings. Now the Seahawks get the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Throwing again on second down. Purdy, he'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Purdy sets up to throw again. 
Throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the 49ers are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Little loft on that touchdown pass and sort of dropped it in the bread basket perfectly. Right in the bucket. And when you're coming out of college and you're a rookie in the NFL, sometimes you forget about the different types of throws you have to make. You just rely on your fastball and throw it as hard as you can all the time. But in this situation, he understood and threw it in a spot where only his receiver was going to get it and no one else. That was pretty. Gold with the extra point, And that'll make our score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. And his throw here is incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Throwing on third down, Smith. He lets it fly for Lockett. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A big play there just before halftime. 44 yards. He had to figure they'd take a shot downfield on third and long, so the old cliche came into mind right away for me. Who wants it more? You always hear about receivers, you hear about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. Myers kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Purdy looking to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six. 
And that'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Smith on first down. And he's taken in by the tight end fan. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Up the middle they run. It's Walker to the 43, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Quick hitter here. It's complete. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. 73 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Up the middle, here's Walker. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Another try after the first down sack. Smith. And he's going to get this down near the 25. So the completion good for seven there. And this will wind up being a third and three. On third down, here's Walker. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Over the middle, and he's got Goodwin complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Second down at four. Throwing is Smith. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against him offensively. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Now Smith. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Hand off here to Walker. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. 
Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Noah Fant, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So roughing the passer here, even though said passer wasn't a quarterback. And this is a call, partner, I think you might see once a decade or so. But the officials know the rules better than anyone, and you have to know them when you're on the field. Anyone throwing the ball gets the same protection as a quarterback. So if he gets hit late, that's definitely going to draw a flag. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards and a first down. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's Samuel caught left side. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. On first down, it's Purdy. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. Jenna and Wosu got the sack there. A rookie QB struggling, gets thrown down to the ground there. But, you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't, make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. So their move is to decline that so they don't get another second down. It'll be third. So that has to tell us that they're pretty confident in their third down defense, right? Absolutely. Whether it's a sub package or nickel package, whatever they want to run out there, they feel like they can defend here on third down. Just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds. And now fourth down. The kick by Gold is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 
A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Got a man, that's IU. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Here's Purdy on first and 10. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Well, we sit in quarter number three out in Seattle, a second and 10 now. the god McCaffrey and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started this will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming well, this red zone is where the Seahawk crowd really makes it tough for an offense to communicate it's third down and it's complete in the end zone touchdown 49ers Juwan Jennings from 19 yards away. And the Niners are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 24-17. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And out now come the Seahawks. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now Gino. And that one almost intercepted. Boy, he's got two already, nearly a third, but not to be at its fourth down. They snap it to Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now a run with Walker. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, 
above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. It's a big play there for Seattle. 51 yards. Typically with catches like that, we talk about the height of the wide receiver, but he's one of the shorter receivers in the NFL. And it doesn't seem to matter, does it? Put the tape measure away. How about some of these guys under six feet tall? Antonio Brown, T.Y. Hilton, and Super Bowl 53 MVP, Julian Edelman. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Walker. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, has gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. On second and goal, Smith. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. Noah Finn, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Myers connects on the PAT, and the lead now up to 14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy of what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Birdie. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kobe Bryant. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a fourth quarter. That one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. And I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Give him 32 on the play. Let's get the 
Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And now off to the races, down the right side. 20, 10, 5, and they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. And he has great speed, defensive back speed. Once he got it and took off, there was no catching him. And I know every team tells you to hustle no matter what the play, but there was no chance of catching him. Maybe if it had been a defensive tackle running with the ball, but not in this case. Myers connects on the PAT, and that'll increase their lead to 28. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Jordan Brooks with it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will return it and San Francisco gets set to go here and you can sort of sense their dejection that last pick six put the icing on the cake so to speak and what has been a rough go for them at this point down big you'd have to imagine this defense they're just going to sit back blanket the field as best they can yeah this is actually the easy part of the game for them because just as you noted they can sit back keep everything in front of them but they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages it'll go as a loss of a yard so now they deal with third and 11. Well, backed up here tough spot needing 11 yards to pick up the first Purdy with it on third and long Completes it to Jennings. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Purdy, big fourth down play. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30-point play in that playbook, but... They can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Purdy will look to throw again here. On the screen, this is Mason. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. Now Purdy. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Over the middle complete. That's Jennings. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. 
But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing here, Purdy. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Jennings lost the football, and the Seahawks have recovered. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth, it doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. It's caught. Lock it. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On the give, it's Walker. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 127 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's Smith. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, partner, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They can continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Walker with another carry. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. And quickly they get to the line. Throwing now, Smith. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the 49ers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. So a big return there, Charles, on what was a pretty dangerous throw to the outside. It sure was, Brandon. That's the risk you run on a throw like this. If it's intercepted, a lot of times this is a pick six. So good also to get back and get him down. But boy, that's a throw you've really got to be sure of if you're going to work the perimeter of the field. Throwing again on second and ten. Purdy, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And this is caught, Jennings. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages.
Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 26. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Able to complete this one to McLeod. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Looking to throw again on second down. Purdy. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Purdy. Throwing middle it's complete it'll go as a gain of four and it's second down and as this defense walks off the field they can do so with their heads held high what a performance well but by, by the offense too i mean really charles just Complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason, but on game day, you both want to show your best, and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.